it's just like when you think that you've seen every piano library, you've got a thousand of them already, uh, somebody always, um, always comes up with something. This is the Galaxy, this is an older piano. This is the Galaxy Vintage D. I thought I was doing the Vintage D, but I was actually doing the Galaxy D and the Vienna piano. And so I just said, hey, could you guys send me uh, a copy of the Vintage D? The difference is the Vintage D is a Hamburg Steinway. The Galaxy uh, D is a New York Steinway. And so uh, I'm just going to... Um, just kind of go back and forth between these. And these have been out for several years. Uh, and so it was like one of some of the first pianos that uh, Galaxy Instruments were involved in. And I really, they really have a beautiful way of um, sampling their libraries. And this uh, is a contact player instrument, so you don't have to worry about um, any of that stuff. So I've just got this on the basic grand, and we'll just kind of play a little bit. So that's just the basic uh, Galaxy, the Vintage D. Now let's do this. Let's pull up the Galaxy D with the same preset and let's do the same thing. What I noticed right away is that the Galaxy Steinway, being a New York Steinway, is a little more brighter. It's a little brighter. It's got a little more bell-like attack to it. Let's go back to the Vintage D. You hear the difference? Back to the Galaxy. Yeah, you hear a little difference. And the reason for that is that the, uh, I'm gonna go back to the vintage, vintage D. The reason for that is that Hamburg, uh, Hamburg uh, built pianos, uh, they sound different. They voice them a little differently. And the New York Steinways, they have a tendency, uh, I guess they put lacquer on the hammers to harden the hammers a little bit. And so what happens is with that hammer being hard, it just makes that uh, it makes that string ring out like that bell-like quality. And then the Hamburg, it's just got a little, uh, it just kind of has a softer profile to that. Yeah, this is the, uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, this is the Vintage D. <laughs> now let me go ahead and pull up another uh, one of these global presets. Let's go to the Intimate. And with this one, they've shut the lid. They've shut the lid here. lid closed, it just pulls you right into it. It's just got a more delicate sound and the New York is just more of, um, it's just a harder, it's a, it's a harder sound. And this piano was uh, recorded, I guess, in Bauer Studios. I think Chick Corea recorded a couple of projects um, using this piano. And this has uh, Unicorda 
a, just a dedicated unicorda layer. And that means when you push that the pedal on the left, it shifts the keyboard over so you're just playing one string. So, and then I've got the three pedal controller, so I'm gonna push that down and... Um, Unicorder pedal down. I'm going to open it back up again. So it's definitely got a different uh, different character to it, and and I really enjoy playing that. Uh, let's just pull up the concert hall and the lids open again. Yeah, wow, that's really big. And let's just back that down. It's a little too wet for me. Let's turn the reverb off and we can listen. profile sounds a little bit brighter. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Some people say you're we used to play that in jazz band in high school, so that's why it kind of takes me back a little bit. <laughs> So that's a little bit of the uh, Galaxy Vintage D, and it's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> 